everyone. Welcome to the Idris Diaries, Episode 7. This is Carol Ann, and joining me today is the one and only Matrix Lord. Hey, what's up? How you doing today? Good, good, good. A little tired after yesterday walking around in the city, but um, yesterday was free comic book day. Yay. So, yeah! <laughs> so, I, um, like a little kid, uh, uh, you know, Sharon took me to the movie. <laughs> we went to see the Amazing Spider-Man at 10 30 in the morning. Uh, and uh, the only thing is, like, I didn't know, but certain times in the morning, they have, like, for just like, um, I guess it's kids and schools and uh, sometimes for special needs people. So we were trying to watch the movie, and they had, like, these adults in wheelchairs, and they're like, ah! or, like, they're like yelling and stuff. And I'm like, ah! Like, I'm like, you know, what the hell's going on? But uh, we had a good time. The movie was excellent, oh, by cool. the way. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, and then from there, we went to JHU Comics, Jamaica's Universe, uh, on New York, because it's like right by my house. And Spider-Man was there. So I got to film with Spider-Man, had some fun. Then we took a detour to her house. I dropped off my comics because I didn't want them to get wet in the rain, if it was going to rain. And then we started our adventure in the city where we went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which I had filmed a hundred videos. I had a lot of fun, and it took all, all morning today. I'm still not, still not uploaded yet, but we had a blast. Spider-Man, I got to say, I was completely wrong about uh, Jamie Lee Fox. He was actually the best he was great as electro i love this performance he should have been the whole movie he was awesome andrew garfield and the stone uh what a great movie uh and i was very very surprised and happy with the results so oh, that's cool. uh, yeah, yeah so i mean i wasn't really uh planning on going to see it i mean i'll probably wait because i'm not like a big spider-man person but right. I'll, I'll probably wait until like it's out on like you know, Netflix or on demand or something like that. Right. I mean, you know, like, I, I really like the movie. Certain things I didn't like. And, of course, you know, I, I don't like when they change things from the comics too much. Um, you know, but I'll just say a few things of what was changed and what was not. If you remember the first Made in Spider-Man, instead of his father and mother being, like, James Bond super spies, which they were in the comics... They turned his father, of course, into uh, Dr. Peter pa Dr. Parker, scientist extraordinaire, uh, which, you know what, I wasn't really crazy about. Um, then, uh, you know, they continued that in this one. They were in this one, uh, flashbacks, whatever. Um, I didn't like that the, the they changed the dynamic with Harry and him. In the comics, they were friends um, all throughout their lives and even in their teenage years. In this one, they say that his father shipped him off to boarding school, so last time you saw him was like... Hey. Yeah, no, I am not You just froze. <laughs> so, you know, that's a big difference from them hanging out as teenagers. You know, if they didn't see each other for like 10 years or 8 years, 9 years, uh, and then them getting together and stuff like that. Oh, I mean, it was still it was still great. Um, I felt, I'm breaking up. Yeah, your I, video yeah, was breaking up. I felt that they, ah, uh, probably the weather. We lost it? No, you're still going. Okay. I could hear you, uh, but your I video feel, I feel that the uh, movie should have just been Electro, but I understand why they had uh you know, Harry Osborn's Green Goblin type, but they never meant never called him Green Goblin. Um, but yeah, it should have been all electro. Uh, I hated the Rhino totally. <laughs> <laughs> but and the Green Goblin was like, eh, 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 you know, I I was alright Green Goblin, um, but I understand it, and I really it didn't take away from me enjoying the movie. I thought it was a great movie. Um, I just look forward to the future and see what they're gonna do. Very disappointed though after the credits that. I know what was going to happen, that they had to promote the X-Men movie, but a lot of people were confused why the hell they're showing X-Men clips in a Spider-Man movie, and just like, you know, and they didn't, didn't nobody explain nothing to nobody, um, and they didn't show nothing after the credits. Now, I don't know if there was a mistake, because I thought there was supposed to be something after the credits. Uh, they just showed symbols and stuff of villains. Because usually, usually there is. 
Yeah, but yeah, they an heavy like Marvel thing. There's usually yeah, I mean, some... maybe maybe they didn't have it in that theater. I don't know. I'm hoping if when I go see it two more times that I see it in the other theaters. But did, uh, uh, it, did Stan Lee make his uh, normal appearance? Yes, go see the movie. Amazing Spider-Man Two is phenomenal. Um, the acting, I mean, best part Emma Stone and is the best part of the movie. She's an awesome actress and Andrew Garfield's chemistry together because they are really a couple in real life. Uh, I just saw the clip from Saturday Night Live that they were on yesterday, and they were in uh, New York yesterday, too, which, uh, who knows, I mean, we were in New York all over the place, me and Sharon, too, so uh, they were filming uh, Saturday Night Live last night, so they were, in, they were in the city throughout the day, so uh, I don't know where they were, but, um, yeah, it was, uh, and then um, I had a video, video with Spider-Man, uh, and my kid's like, that sounds like Andrew Garfield. I'm like, I don't, you never know, I don't know. I heard that... Uh, you know, sometimes he puts the costume on and he's like hanging out with kids and stuff. So who knows? I don't think it was, but uh, just yeah, had I a saw great... that video. That was like cool. Yeah, that was great. I'm like a little kid. I'm like, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we I did a hundred videos in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, trying to get it uploaded. Uh, we had a great, great day. I mean, me and Sharon, we go all over the place, so we yeah, have a great cool. time. Um, but uh, your favorite movie's coming out. Yeah. I can't, I, can't, I can't wait. I, actually, over the next two months, there's going to be so many awesome movies I'm looking forward to. I mean, right. what, uh, in two weeks, uh, Godzilla's coming out. Yes. Then very I, glad, very glad that the trailer represents that everybody's screaming like, ah, oh, and it's not Godzilla. Yeah. Like it's the, uh, the bad guy. Yeah. And then he asks for Godzilla's help, and then he's like, ah, ah, yeah. there's like stuff. That's what I'm happy about. That. Yeah, so Very I was happy. really, because I, I was afraid it, they were going to make it like, um, you know, make it where Godzilla was the bad guy and everybody wanted to shoot Godzilla and stuff like that. But it was, you know, and that I'm was. I'm glad they make a way where you kill people or something like that. Yeah, because, so. because I love, I'll always love the original Godzilla movies when, you know, you have the aliens coming to Earth and Godzilla rescues the day and Everybody's waving, thank you, Godzilla, as he's walking back into the ocean. Yeah, he's, and like, he's like yelling in the, yeah. in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, so I can't, I can't wait for that. Then um, then later on, in, at the end of the month, it's going to be X-Men, right? Yes, yeah. that's I'm really looking forward I'm, to. That. I, that, that is going to be like an intense uh, movie. I can't wait for that one. And then in June, it's going to be, is it June? I thought it was June. It's going to be, uh, or July, I forget. It's going to be... Um, you know, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, Guardians of the Galaxy also. Yeah, so I can't, oh yeah, and actually yesterday, believe it or not, was the first time I ever went into a comic book store. There we go. I've always wanted to go into a comic book store, but, you know, I was always, like, shy about going, and they're really, what's weird about Connecticut is we really don't have comic book stores near mm. us. The closest okay. one is uh, 35, 40 minutes away in North Haven. Uh, okay. Then there's one in downtown New Haven. Right. And then there's one in Milford. So, you know, you're going out there. Then there's one in uh, New London. So you're mm -hmm. talking about, like, anywhere from 30 minutes to, like, you know, an hour away. You know? Right. <laughs> there's no, none, like... Okay. You know? So... I've always wanted to go, but never did. And when, um, with my group, you know, I, I have my local Connecticut sci-fi group. Uh, right. One of the people suggested a meetup for us going to free comic book day. And I'm like, cool, you know, you suggest one. So he right. suggested this one. It's called DJ Comics and Collectibles in North Haven. And um, so I started doing a lot of research. Now, I was going to take your word and you said, you suggested um, the Silver Surfer and then yeah. I was also gonna get gonna get like some Batman ones, you know, traditional ones. Right, right. But I read read an article <laughs> uh, during the week, basically saying if you're a newbie to comics, get right. stuff that you like. Don't get. Oh no! Yeah, you yeah. gotta get what you like. Because yeah. if you don't like it, you won't get. You won't continue to read it. So yeah. whatever you're interested in. Yeah. So what Batman, I did. Whatever. So I was surprised. I always had it in my mind that it's, you know, superhero, superhero. That was it. I was surprised with the research that I did. I found this really cool app called Cos Comicology uh, that you can download on your app, and you can actually buy comics onto your phone or your tablet. Yes. And uh, it's really a cool app, and I started researching it. And, I mean, you got 
mythology, you got history, you yes, got drama, it's not just you got superheroes. You got, you know, um crime mysteries. I mean, I was like, oh my God, look at all this crap. So I created a list. <laughs> And okay. I went in there, and I was, like, looking. And, of course, he had the free comics. And there were, it was so, it, it was a cute, quaint, adorable little shop, right? And I couldn't believe how many people were in there. I was like, oh, my God, look at all these people. And uh, you're basically, like, walking sideways. And you could take, there were 60 comics being uh, offered. And you were allowed to take one from each title. So there were people walking out there with, like, oh, 60 comics. You know? Yes. And uh, I only chose um, five, and I thought I would be a good little cons consumer. And for every free comic I took, I bought one. <laughs> uh, of course, I ended up buying more than the free. I only got free uh, five free comics, and I ended up getting seven <laughs> wow. regular comics. I ended up getting, I, I haven't read them yet, but I got the uh, Loki uh, Agent of Asgard. Okay. Uh, and they're on book three uh book four uh i guess is going to be coming out this week um okay. so i haven't read that yet but when i did the review but you could probably it, order it to your phone rather than go there then yeah but on the phone you want the actual one yeah then. and you can't really you know well i was it's... thinking about because we were talking you and i about meeting up real who real hoovings together yeah and yesterday we were in the met and um sharon asked me how far is monk away from us. And I told her he's in New York, where I was just like, well, why don't we just take a train and go there? And I was like thinking, you know what? Maybe this summer, uh, you know, you could meet us, we could meet you, whatever, and we can go into the New York City comic book stores. That and we can go, be. me, you, and Sharon, we can go and, you know, besides talking about Doctor Who, we can show Doctor Who stuff there. But we could do that because the New York City stores are amazing. I mean, I wish I could take it to Staten Island because I love Comic Book Joe and that's like my favorite. Uh, but there's other nice, cool places like JHU. Um, you know, uh, the high, that was like my first comic book store, Jim Allen's Universe, when I was growing up, well, like in my high school years, whatever. And then um, there's other ones like Hypnotronic Comics. They have a variety of like specialty stuff. You know, like I was talking about like Walking Dead Jello Mobile or something, or like different <laughs> things. You know, like Doctor Who, Sonic Scooter, or Pizza Cutter, or something. Yeah. I mean, it's like crazy stuff. So, you know, we could go on a little tour of comic book stores, you know, and we could I could show you all the cool stuff, and I can, oh. you know, maybe we should do that in the summer. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I hope my credit card doesn't melt. <laughs> uh, oh you gotta God, find I, out how much it's co will cost to take the train to come. Well, in no, I'm talking about buying the comics and. Crap. Oh yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, you know. Because I, I, I was so I, I was up. I didn't read everything yet, but yeah. uh, I also read. I got because I loved the cover. It was. Yeah. I guess there's a comic book series. You maybe know more a little bit more about this than I do. It's called uh, Zero Year. Zero Year. <laughs> yeah, yes. and uh, number fifty two is Catwoman. Okay. Where it talks That's about. That's like a storyline, I think. But yeah, I got this one. I got yesterday. Oh, cool. Maybe Spider Man number one. And then, uh, yeah, I got, I got, um, I got uh, Captain America number one. Signed by Dan Slott. And uh, <laughs> this is Dan Slott's also Civil Surfer number two. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, that's the one that I saw. Yeah. So I, I only got, I was a good boy. I only got to uh, yesterday, mate, but I got my Spider Man posters and stuff too. But yeah, um, yeah cause definitely I got, need to get more. Because I got the Loki ones, I got Fables. You know, it's like an yes. introduction to fables. Yes. I mm -hmm. got, um, there was a Doctor Who one with uh, 11 yes. on the cover, so I got that. That's cool. I got Cap Captain America number one. I got my brother, um, V from Vendetta, because that's his favorite movie of all time. I love that movie. Yeah, that that's his favorite that all-time movie. movie, so I got him that. And then for the free comics, I ended up getting, um, I got, like, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the free one. Yes. And I I actually enjoyed that one. Guardians of the Galaxy was awesome. I, yeah. I really enjoyed that pre con So, I mean, what is that going to be like a new series? You know. I read back in the day it was a different lineup, but yeah, they they have um, they have got the com comics currently running. And so. Then, and then yeah. they had like uh, this guy. What was it? Something Venom, Captain yeah. Venom or something. <laughs> and I love that raccoon. I'm I know you're not supposed to call him a raccoon, but I I'm in love for it. Rocket. <laughs> yeah. And then I ended up getting his comic. Uh and yeah. then I and then I got Avatar and um and then uh what's the other one? Uh 
Avatar. Oh, and Grimm, the okay. Grimm fairy tales. You know. Yes. So, and then I uh, and then I love the Avatar cartoon. Not not the movie, but the cartoon series. Is it cartoon? Yeah, it's called Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, oh, yeah, that was right, right. right. I, I yes. love that cartoon, and uh, I guess there's yes. gra a graphic novels out. So I'm, that's yes. going to be my next uh, thing. I'll probably get them online. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's a great way to go to comics. They have a lot of awesome stuff. They have toys too. Uh, there, there so was one very that I was, There was one that I was looking for called. Um, oh, what was it called? I don't actually have it. In my, I think it's called Bad Sand. Have you heard of that? What is it called? Bad Sand. Let me see. Bad that. Sand. Let me see. I think Not sure. I think that's what it's called. Oh, black sand, black sad. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, basically, no. it's yeah. an alternate universe, but the mm -hmm. universe is ours. You know, where you have like the police and all that stuff, but the chief detective is a cat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, and they were so that's busy good. in that store, I was afraid to like ask them anything. So. Uh... <laughs> Oh, let's be go there for you. Have so, some conversations. So stuff I'll probably go back there at some point and ask yeah. them. And, you know. So what is five minutes from you? Uh, this one is about 35 to 40 minutes, depending on the traffic. But is there, oh, so you just drove there or you did yeah. public conversation? Okay. Yeah, I drove. Yeah. We walked around a lot yesterday in the city, but, uh. I can't wait to see the, yeah. I can't wait to see the museum videos. I'm wait. I'm waiting. I'm hopeful this YouTube thing starts loading up because it took all night. I had to leave my phone on all night and it was <laughs> uploading like a hundred videos all night up until seven this morning. I couldn't even believe it. So, um, <laughs> and now I was, I was like zipping through and then it says, you're only, you are only allowed to add 50 videos together. I'm like, ah, because I wanted to do like a hundred in one shot. So oh. then I had to do 50, then 50, then I have to take the dope two videos and make them to one. So oh. it's been taken all day. Uh, <laughs> I can't I know. wait. I know. I got to say this one, I think, now I could be wrong, but I think the creators of Resident Evil video game went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art because there's some stuff in there it looks exactly like the mansion with the table and the statues on the side and some of the things you walk through and I'm like oh they just mapped this video game out like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 crazy like I was like this is the mansion this is the thing I'm like absolutely the corridors the doors I mean I'm like this is I, I you know they People take stuff from other things that they, they, you know, I'm almost sure that oh. they had the Metropolitan Museum of Art in mind when they did Resident Evil, because you get to see that part. And then, the funny thing is, my camera died when I was I went in this room, right? It was so, like, certain rooms I went into, I just got this weird feeling. You know, sometimes I got this feeling like I, I this is all familiar to me. <laughs> Like, I, you know, and I'm like, uh oh, this other room was like all red, and I started getting like sweating, and I'm like, you know, I'm nervous. I'm like, why am I getting so worried in this room? The phone died when I was in this room with all, it looked like weeping angels, like baby oh. angels <laughs> all around, and the phone completely died when I was in that room. And then I had to have Sharon's phone to film the rest, but it was oh, just so riot. funny. Yeah. <laughs> And and one of the rooms they look like girl in the fireplace stuff. Oh, okay. so so. Hey, you never uh, know. But then but then some of the cool stuff they block it on the weekend. So there's this room with nights and stuff that I tried to get through the window and I like, try to peek through and oh, and zoom in. Why did they block it? Why did they? They don't allow you to go to all the, the exhibits on the weekend. I don't know oh, why. That sucks. That does suck. This thing was great. They had like the knights with the armor with the horses and like what the heck. Because so. that's what I would like to see. And I saw that yeah. cool Egyptian stuff on your page. you know. Yes, Facebook. and I didn't realize, too, something on my phone lately was filming because it started, I was trying to do it as fast as possible. But then sometimes I have that thing with my phone where it jumps and it's a little blurry for a second. Mm -hmm. So I apologize for the video footage. We'll see how it comes out in one big uh, thing. So I can't we wait got some, to see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Certain things we weren't allowed to film anything, period. Oh. Not even cameras, nothing couldn't even have your phone out. Oh, so we wouldn't get, I didn't get, I didn't go any, I did the fucking photography section. In fact, we went in there and they had, some of these pictures look really, this guy captured something with film with some demonic thing. I'm like, oh my God, it was freaky. Yeah. Uh, and then they had pictures of people dead and I was like, wow, it is like weird. Yeah, but 
the, the paintings were cool. Um, Beefhead's like, you know, make sure you go see Vigo. And I'm like, and Sharon's like, what's Vigo? I'm like, the scourge of Carpathia, the <laughs> sorrow of Moldavia, command you, like, you know, from Ghostbusters too. So, uh, yeah, so she's like, what? I'm like, Ghostbusters too. And she's like, okay. I'm like, yeah, so it was just so funny. But um, you can't even, I couldn't even see everything. We were there for hours. Oh, wow. So that is so cool. You have to go back like five times. I mean, it's just too much to. And it's so huge, this place. I, I love museums like that. That is so yeah. sweet. We were walking towards it, and, and I'm like on Park Avenue. I'm like, oh my God, people would love to see what Park Avenue looks like, like in the city. So I did a, I didn't even talk. I'm just like, they have like tulips and stuff in the middle of like the freaking, I'm like, what the hell? Like, there's the richest part, I guess, of New York, like <laughs> rich, rich, rich people. And it just, everything looks crazy. I mean, it's not even a, uh, a piece of paper on the floor. It's oh, like wow. ridiculous. And I just did like a quick, you know, pan around 29 second video. I didn't even talk. I just like view of Park Avenue. But um, yeah, the Metro Museum started raining when we were going in. And we were all these tents walking through. So Sweet. I might make a video because I, I didn't realize it that I'm doing these videos and I didn't really have a proper introduction like where we were so it just starts off we're just walking for like we don't talk for like five minutes so i made <laughs> a little interaction introduction before uh i air that so um but yeah we had a great time in the city oh that and, is uh, sweet we had a ball comic book day today's star wars day yeah right? i was just gonna mention that uh my feet were blistered out <laughs> oh may the force be with you yes yeah i know today they got lightsaber training in the city. Oh, sweet. And if I wasn't too tired, I'd be like, <laughs> you know, I start like fight with people in the streets of New York. But, yeah, the, uh, yeah, there's a, a group, but it's called the Connecticut Jedi, you know, yeah. and, and they meet up oh, in Milford. And crazy. they meet up in Milford. Like, let's, <laughs> you know, I would definitely do that, man. They're yeah, all ready. <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> I love doing that. Like, I used to play around like I was the emperor with the kids. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, so I just shoot my impulse. So I love hoodies, man. No. <laughs> so, so what do you think about, like, the cast and, uh, that was announced last week? Oh my God. Max von Sydow. That's a, that's a villain. If that's if I have heard one, Mr. Mr. Sith Lord, probably. Um, yeah, I'm actually very excited that... You know, finally, we get to see them all sitting at the table. Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. You know, you got uh, Anthony Daniels. You got Peter Mayhew. Um, very excited. I'm surprised we're going to see Billy D. Williams, uh, but I guess he's not going to be in it. But um, I, uh, the new guys, I got to really research who they are. I mean, I know Max von Sydow. He's been close for but, yeah. um, you know, I got to see. You know, some of them are, like, I think new, right? Some of them are, like, real new. Yeah, they're, they're somewhere, yeah. you know, I didn't even... To tell you the truth, I really don't even recognize their names. I was trying to hope that we were sort of like, you know. But everybody yeah. everybody so, was hoping for Benedict uh, Cumberbatch, you know. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's busy doing yeah. stuff. Which now I don't even know what Sherlock is going to happen at all, because Mark Freeman's talking about, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, but like, we're going to make, make all these movies. He's like, we're going to do a special like right now. I'm ready. Let's go film right now. Yeah. And it's like, you know. I mean, like I mean, because I know they were talking, there was that rumor saying that they were going to try to do something for December, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It was like, I'm free like today. You want to film something today? Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. And it's like, but that's that's what it is. Like, one's making a movie, one's not. Yeah. So it's, I don't know how the hell they would do that. Even yeah. Moffat, like they're doing Doctor Who now, so. Yeah, so most likely they're going to, it's not going to happen until like next year. That's what I'm guessing. I don't even know, Clinton Martin Freeman, uh, he says he don't even know how it could be a series. Like three episodes because it's so they're scheduled for the next I guess year or so so hard so I don't know yeah because they're Hopefully, also, so, yeah you know because they're all like movies you know <laughs> they're probably gonna have to get them on like holiday break like when it's like their birthday or something it's like yeah. hey uh, like, and it's like, like, like five minutes yeah. yeah let's get together and do something yeah. and do an episode in an hour <laughs> yeah you're gonna shoot this right here I heard like rumors like with Men in Black 3 like when they were filming in the city like they had Will Smith's idea to our travel, but they didn't know what. They just like, all right, go here, do this, whip this. There was like no script. I heard, yeah. and it just like filmed on on the fly. And I'm like, but it was a great movie. Yeah. But um, even if it was true or not, but um, yeah. Well, hopefully so, they could do that, you know, because those two would probably be able uh, to do it perfect. 
I they, yeah, well, with Sherlock, it's so intellectual. You have to, they have to have a script and all that stuff. I know, but um. And I am totally psyched about Matt Smith being oh, cast for, in the Terminator. Oh, yeah. I was so happy because I was getting worried. I was like, why isn't Matt doing anything? He's just going you know to what? all these I'm conventions. Pissed I'm pissed off at these sites because you and I were talking, and they actually said in the articles that Matt Smith and Karen Gillan were dating, and then they scrapped it. Yeah. Like, days later, those sons of Daleks, man. Yeah. I was so pissed. And then I went to do a podcast the other day, Real Wolverine's Kiss, I think 314. I was doing it. I asked Matt Smith about Terminator because I already did a video, too. And then I was talking about the Matt Smith and Karen Gillan, and some of the Hoovings didn't hear about it. Uh, and then I had company. I'm like, oh. And then uh, Monk was talking to me. He's like, where is it? They pulled the yeah. article. They pulled the friggin' articles. How horrible is that? So it made us look like I, I want them scrapping the podcast because it's only like eight minutes long. But yeah. I'm so read it today. was probably because the only one that I saw was the one about them doing dinner. And then they changed the article. And then when I Googled. Dating. It's about song, and then it says something about Moffat wouldn't lie with when they were on set. Yeah, now, I, yeah, I, re I read, I read that one, and then I did see, you know, how you search Google and you go through right. the page, and there was an article that said that they're dating. Could you make sure my computer? That's why. And 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 it said that you know they're dating. Um, or something like that. It, di it didn't actually say those words. But That's why I announced it. I said, then, but I didn't even believe it fully either. And then I'm... when I clicked onto it, it wouldn't mm -hmm. load. Yeah, you know, no, they so, pulled all the articles, guys. So, yeah, um, that's why I never aired the, that real whole thing. So I have to redo it. But uh, yeah, because I don't want to put out this, you know, stuff that wasn't true. So, but yeah, that they actually did it. That's why we did the story. And even I was hesitant to do the story. I said, you know, well, well if they are or not, you know. So, you know, well, I, but I am so happy that he was, uh, you know, it, that he was cast in that. And it, from what I read, it's going to be a major growth role from all three uh we do have a major spoiler on andrews divers right now for doctor who what all right it is confirmed i believe that peter capaldi will be dueling with the villain with a spoon <laughs> i don't know how he's gonna do it but i see <laughs> the guy with the sword and he had a spoon and they said that he's actually gonna duel with the guy with the spoon I don't know what's gonna happen, but I just can't wait to see that scene. I just seen him with the spoon, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that oh, is gonna be god. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, this is what he has. It's not big at all, but somehow he deals with a spoon. He, he what was that movie with Sean Connery, where the Sean. guy was gonna fight him, and For Sean Connery thumb. was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a fight. Everybody up with his thumb. Yeah, and that was a great. That was what movie was that? Oh my God! Leave well, comments below. What movie was that? The oh my God! His, his one, daughter was Meg Ryan. Was that the one where he was in uh, in, in Japan or something like that? I don't know. I'm going to bitch you with my thumb. I'm like, yeah. whoa! <laughs> thought, like, so I, so I can picture Capaldi doing that with the spoon. Yeah. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I Sick. <laughs> Finally, have him what kicking butt. Throw a spoon at the dollar. <laughs> Was smack him and take the eyepiece off or something. Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. and, and and I always thought that like if the Dalek was in front of me, just take a sheet and throw it over top of him. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. That's all you got to do. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's it. Yeah, but we got a lot to look forward to. We got like no. Matt Smith and Terminator. We got Peter Capaldi. We got like uh, Star Wars that's finally going forward. I mean, that picture was cool that you posted with the. You know, Terminator with the fist. Oh, yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I, my I'm God. Just waiting. I've been saying, like, I'll be back. And then I whip it out of a solid screwdriver. No, I'm just kidding. He's like, you know, <laughs> but that's like, you know, turns him off. No, yeah. no. That's, he's, he, I guess we don't even know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah. Or if he's a Terminator. Or maybe not. Yeah, we don't know, but he's going to be, like, a major a role. So. Yeah. Well, this is a little role, but then it grows into major roles yeah. in the next two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the article said. So, you know, I hope that's true. And then... You know, I still would love to see him as the Riddler. Oh, I know. Now, I got to say, I was very surprised. Because you know how they have trailers in the movies when you go to see Sp I saw Spider-Man. They had another trailer to Seth MacFarlane's A Million Ways to Die in the West. 
Oh, okay. Now, that's a comedy. I don't know if you saw that trailer. No, I haven't, but I think I heard but, about it. Yeah, but there was this one scene he sees. It was the end of the trailer, new trailer, and the barn's like lightning. And he, he goes in the barn, and it's Doc Brown with the DeLorean. And he's like, oh, and he takes like the thing, he covers up the thing. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, was it really him? Yes. Oh, yes. my God. It was Christopher Lloyd with the freaking DeLorean, and he had his outfit on. I think it was the same barn from three. Oh, I can't I'm wait. Like, oh, my God. I can't believe that. Oh, that I mean, is going to be an awesome movie. When's that out? That's in a couple of weeks, I oh, think. Oh, awesome. I got to go see that. Not for kids because they're cursing and there's all kinds yeah. of stuff in it, but it's rated R. But oh my god, I can't wait! So they, yeah, this, this summer is going to be intense for us geeks. <laughs> we got turtles too, which oh, that might be good too. Turtles. Yeah, but I, I kind of like so, the original turtles. I don't wait for like, the I way know. these guys look. I know. We got, <laughs> tra we got Transformers. But it does, yeah, and Transformers. That's going to be awesome. Um, there's a lot of movies. Although, yeah. although that trailer that they showed in the movie theater when. Um, I, I forget what one it was. I, I'm bad with the turtles. You know, um, when he takes off. The, mask off and he's like, wow, what's the matter? Yeah. Look, it's <laughs> just a mask. See? <laughs> that was funny. Uh, yeah, so I, I might go see it because it looks like it's going to be hilarious as always. So. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so we got a lot looking forward. Uh, summer 2014 is going to be awesome. And next year's going to be better. Yeah. Next year we got Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. It's going to be cool. Yes. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, we got some horror stuff, too. I mean, Friday 13 TV series we're happy about. Scream TV series, Tales of the Dark Side Returning. Oh, is it? it yeah. Um, besides that, there's, uh, you know, I know Rosemary's what? Baby's coming. Yeah, that, on, that actually, the, the, that TV series looks really awesome. And Walking Dead, I mean, I'm hearing some, you know, some stars, big A-list stars want to be in Walking Dead. So I don't know what they're going to do this season, but I heard it's supposed to be action-packed. Sweet. Um, from the start to the finish. So I can't wait to see, even see pictures of filming, which I don't even think they're filming yet. I think he, they're writing it. Um, I think they're up to the third episode writing completely, but yeah, I can't wait. I think they're gonna film in a month or two. I'm not sure, but yeah, because it has to be October. soon. October, October, yeah. Yeah. So and I then, can't wait. For that. And Game of Thrones, holy crap! Yeah, right? I'm actually, I'm actually in the process of um, looking for the hardcover book. That's why me and my mom are gonna go to the bookstore in a we little might, while. You gotta go to the Game of Thrones store. I went. I was filmed in there, an HBO store. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll take you. We'll go. Okay. If, if you go there, it's like du, 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 du. I'm like, what the hell's happening? Because I want to get the, cause yeah, I like, get the hard music's cover. Music's like blasting in there, and it's like everything. You got the <laughs> eggs. I'm like, oh crap, the thing's I, in the hat. I'm I like, have oh. the I have the uh, theme song on my uh, ringtone. <laughs> yeah, there's everything in, in that store. I'm like, it's sick. Because I want to get the hardcover. My, I got the uh, paperback, and then my they mom started... They got the started, soundtrack at the store. And then my mom started reading it. Yeah, they got the sound. They got t-shirts, everything. Oh, they got yeah. t-shirts, Tyrion Smack and Jeffrey in the face. Oh, I love that scene. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm glad he's dead, that little... I know, guy. and I can't believe... You know, I'm glad he's dead, but that kid... Kudos to that actor. Um, oh, I know. Because that kid is, a, like, a phenomenal they, actor. They asked Ned Stark... Like, oh, that, you know, he's like, I'm glad the little is dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you chopped my head off, that son of a, yeah, no, that was great, but, yeah, yeah he's think... going to have a good future. He's going to Yeah, hopefully, uh, he, he, hopefully he was just, like, fooling around, you know, when he said that he was going to, you know, retire from acting. <laughs> oh, no, they all say that. Yeah. Freaking, you know, because uh, that kid, that kid is awesome. Seven said that, too. You know, and, yeah, not gonna retire. And and also uh, for all of you, uh, it's not necessarily sci-fi. It could be like maybe fantasy drama or you know whatever. But twenty four comes back tomorrow. Yes, twenty four. I can't wait for that. I mean, it's it's instead of being twenty four episodes, it's going to be twelve episodes. So I'm assuming it's going to be, you know, maybe two hours. You Probably. know, or they're going to do yeah. twelve and then like see how it yeah. goes and then do the another twelve. I, I don't know. But I can't wait for that. So you got a lot yeah. looking forward to uh, in the next couple of months. Yes, absolutely. Sweet. So, yay. <laughs> All right. 
Well, thank you very much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Yes, you're welcome very much. May the force be with you. Yeah, may the for fourth be with you. Fourth be with you, force be with you. Whoa. Yeah. All right. See the force around you. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.